What's going on, my reefing fam? March here. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Fragbox TV. I realize a lot of people call me Marsh, M-A-R-S-H, or Mark. It's March, like the month. You can call me whatever you want. Coral guy, Marsh, Mark. I don't really care. But today, I need your help. Um, I'm reaching out. Assistance, s'il vous plaît. This is our Red Sea Reefer 250 here in the store. One of the nicer display tanks. All the display tanks are nice, huh? I think they're all nice. This is Tia's. Hi, Tia. What's up? This is her Evo 13.5 gallon, freaking bomb, and Dylan's Fusion 20. I'm not going to talk about that tank because that is a, a work in progress. Over here we have Matt. So everyone that works here actually gets their own, um, their own tank, their own little project, their own uh, way to show off their style and corals. This is Matt's uh, minimalist 10 gallon, and they can take whatever corals they want here from the coral beds and then show us what they're made of. This Red Sea Reefer over here, this is the 250 model, 55 gallon. This is sort of a split tank. So Tia wanted it and I kind of wanted it. So we shared it. So this rock over here on the left is mine. She's not allowed to touch it. And this rock that's looking a lot better than mine on the right is hers. Are you laughing at me? Yeah. <laughs> She's laughing at me. It, well, it's looking better. I, mine was doing good. It's, uh, it's looking like crap. The torches, we're going crazy. I'm gonna get to why I need your help um, in a second, but the torches were just, they stung the crap out of this Monty here. And we have some nice hair algae growing. And then they were, they were just, they were doing so well that it was overwhelming. And the tentacles would get so long, six, seven, eight inches up here. They were stinging the bottom of this poor toadstool, um, even reaching back to the Duncan. So I had to trim them back. I decided to take out the torches and I think we sold them or fragged them, whatever. I have this nice open, empty section here that needs to be covered with some sort of coral. So today I'm looking for suggestions. Hit us up in the comments. What do you think I should do? I don't want to cramp Tia's style. Um, she's got a beautiful hammer garden going on up here. You've done a very good job. She knows she's here. She's right here behind the camera and she's like talk. She's the peanut gallery. She's like, thank you. I know. I, I know I did a good job. But this, this, we were talking about this, the double pagoda. It's a little yeah. strange, no? I just really like them and I can't pick which one I like. They are. They're really cool corals. They're unusual. They look very cool. I say keep this one on the left. Me too. Yeah, that one's really fuzzy. Yeah, it's not a normal coral. It's just weird to have two green almost the same next to each other. But, you know, it's your rock. Do whatever you want. Maybe I'll donate one to your rock. Or that. Yeah, maybe I could use one. She's got some nice uh, Acan Lords. And I know you guys are going to shit on me in the comments that they're no longer called a Canastrea lordawensis. That's the Latin name. I know they have been reclassified as Micromusa, but in my stubborn ways, I'm sorry. I'm just going to keep calling them a Can Lord. That's it. They were that for 10 years. That's what they are to me. Uh, let's leave that alone. She's got a nice cell garden. What's going on? Why is this one closed over here? I'm not sure. That one seems to close up. Oh, there was an Aptasia. You were gone. Tia was gone last week. She went camping. She took the week off and we Aptasia x the the hell out of this thing. Had a nice big fat one growing. Got some nice Rastas mixed in with Sunny D's. Got a war. They're, they've grown. They look good. Yeah, there's quite a few. Um, Super Saiyans, Utter Chaos, uh, Rainbow Hornet. Yeah, very nice little collection. These are eventually going to take over this entire rock here. Beautiful little, the beginning of a Ghani garden with the exception of this. What's going on with this poor, poor guy, the red one? He looks toast. Oh, look at you, sneaky, sneaky, with the branching red cyphastria in the back corner. Why are you hiding it? Uh, you I want to give it space to grow up and kind of fill in that bottom corner a bit. Yeah, but it's nice. It doesn't. It's your hide. It's not getting enough love. Even back here, you got a really cool chalice. Oh, look at this. She's like hiding cool corals in the back. Hello, Halloween hermit. Need space for them to grow in. I guess. Yeah, mushroom. Uh, oh, that mushroom you didn't plant it. Didn't it come from no, my that side? Was, uh, yeah. From your side. Yeah, it dropped off. Um, some cool, there's a lot of purple in here. I'm not, this isn't supposed to be like a critique of Tia's rock, but I feel like that's what it's turning into. It's a little purple. Right? It's a little purple, yeah. You got purple on purple on purple on purple. Yeah, but it looks good. Oh, that's a cool little fish. Uh, yeah, okay, so that was a major sidetrack. The whole point of this video, oh, sorry, one more. Monty's. Hold on, hold on. What? Your back corner is purple too. Look at it. Uh, <laughs> you were right. My back corner is purple. It's like yeah, the, the ear, we're even. <laughs> we're even in the purple. There is a lot of purple on this rock. Purple, 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 purple. Purple, 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 purple. I feel like I'm saying purple a lot. Guys, I need suggestions. What do you think I should do in here? Should I uh, do a Zoa garden and put Tia to shame and show her how it's done, the master? I am the Zoa man. That's what I'm known for. That's how I started the hobby. 
uh, was really with Zoas. I got two Duncans too, I just noticed. Hmm. I haven't really looked at this tank in a while. I'm not doing much. Lots of leathers here on top. Do I continue with the leathers? More softies? Do I do uh, some Blastomusas? I'm big on gardens, but let me know. Hit it up in the comments. I am going to read them. We do read a lot of the comments. We can't get to all of them, of course. If you see, there are hundreds of them. And if we were to answer everyone, it would be a full-time job. Um, but on this video specifically, I'm looking for your help. So let me know. Maybe, maybe get rid of the torches over here. Maybe do a new torch garden. I don't know. Maybe. Huh? Maybe. What do you think? What, what are your, what are your thoughts? Dylan, chime in. Dylan's busy admiring his own work. Your tank's looking really good, man. Yeah. It's looking bomb. I think yeah. we should switch. I'll do a blaster garden. You do an AK garden. Yeah. Okay. I'm down. Yeah. Dylan, it's looking really good. <laughs> man, a few, he's like, I know. I don't need, I, look at it with your eyes. I don't need to speak. My tank's awesome. Yeah, no, it is looking really good. Maybe we should do an update on that one. I think that's it for today's video, guys. Give us, give us some help. Hit us up. If you like the videos, if you like the style of the videos, which are very much unscripted, I call them raw reefing. I just made that up. Um, yeah, there's no, we just grab the camera and start stop talking. It's pretty cool. 10,000 subscribers. That was pretty quick, about seven months. I appreciate it, you guys, uh, every single subscriber out there. And if you like it, subscribe because we try our best to do a video every single day. This week we've been slacking. We've been a little lazy. You know where that button is. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Fragbox TV.